Hello everybody, today you will make zucchini flower carbonara. And this I pick it up in my yard and look at this, my garden. I clean up everything and make sure to take that little thing out of the flower because it got a lot of ants, everything. And I clean up really good. Now for start I want to slice the guanciale. I slice three pieces. And we got a corner and we got to make a little cube, not too big and not too small. Okay, now this we put that over here on this dish and we go on the stove. Okay, now put the gas on and we start with the one gel. But I'm not using too much oil, get the one gel. It's a fat, the only thing I want like this, only a little bit. We warm up the pots with the oil. And this is the guanciale. Okay. And look at the guanciale, beautiful look. Now, see so you know got a guanciale, you can use the bacon, prosciutto, or pancetta. Now this I want to cook, it got to be nice and crispy. Because when we pour the pasta, it got to be really nice to cook and all the fat will be out. Okay, now the guanciale is ready. Look how beautiful it looks. Nice, all the fat out. And what I do, I turn the gas off and I put over here on the side. Now, it's time for the pasta. And let's see the water boil over here for the pasta. Yes, the water boil, I use salt. Two teaspoon so, uh, this is the pasta, spaghetti, and uh, we cook the pasta. Okay. To make sure when you cook the pasta, they use a lot of water. Now you don't use too much water, the pasta stick together. Now the pasta starts to cook, and I want to take the guanciale out. But make sure to not take the fat out, okay? Because uh, we need it, we got to saute the pasta together. All right, look how beautiful, nice, the guanciale. All the fat, it's out. Beautiful, nice. Okay, inside it's already nice, beautiful, clean. I take the, everything out. And we got this, I want to take out, like that. Okay? And like this, only the flour we do. But if you want to fry this, you can leave the little stamp like this. When you fry, you pick it up for the little stamp, cut the out. Now we prepare the eggs and the pecorino cheese, pecorino romano. And we break one egg. Okay, good. And we put it right over here in this bowl. And now we break the second one, but I gotta use only the yolk. Another one. Okay. And now what I gotta do, I gotta wash my hand. Okay, now we scramble the eggs really, really good. We use black pepper. Okay, we scramble this now with the black pepper. And now we use the cheese. Oh, look a nice, nice, come nice creamy. If we need more, I got more. Okay, look a nice. Okay, the pasta is done. Turn the gas off for of the pasta and let's pick it up. Still go a little pasta water inside over here, it's no problem, you need a little water. Okay, now we saute the pasta over here. And we use a little water, pasta water. Because the pasta is really al dente. And we cook a little bit together. So you got all the fat of the guanciale. Okay, 
little bit more water. That's enough. Okay, now the pasta is done. We turn the gas off, you leave cloth a little bit after you put the eggs inside and you turn the pasta, it come out nice creamy. So the gas is hand, the eggs it come scrambled eggs. If we make this right away, okay, no one make scrambled eggs like I said before. Okay, we got the rest over here. And we give a nice mix now. And now we give a nice... Oh, oh, nice. Okay, now it's a timer for the one job. All right. And we give a good mix with the one job and everything. We need a little bit more water on the top to make it nice. Look. Okay. And we give a nice mix now like that. And now it's time the my zucchini flour. Okay, look how beautiful. <laughs> nice. If this is not gonna cook too much, the only thing I give a little turn, that's it. Okay, now we give a nice mix with the flour, with the zucchini flour, everything together. Okay, now it's all done, it's time of the taste. Oh, look how beautiful. Oh, oh nice. One Charlie. Mmm. Oh, I got a, the zucchini flour over here. And look at this. And now, little extra pecorino cheese on the top. And let's taste it. Mmm. I can eat this by myself. It's so good. Thank you very much to look at this video. And I hope somebody make, let me know, how I know everybody like this. Thank you very much, and we see next time.